Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got another nail art stamping design to share with you. I have already got my nails prepped. Let me turn on a little light so you can see the hollowness in this. This was started off with my Nail Teeth Formula 2, and then two coats of Glistening Glows, Fairy's Tryst, and this came out of the Hollow Hookup box for August, and I topped it off with Posh Top Coat. And if you don't have this polish, you can also achieve this same effect by using another silver hollow. Let me turn this light off. And we're going to get started with some stamping. And I'm going to be using this You Are Beautiful plate number 11. Right down here. And today I've decided to use these little daisy looking designs. Kind of hard to see. And I'll be stamping with the Crayola Sally Hansen Insta Dry. And this one is the... Cerulean Blue, and I will also be using my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper and my MoU London Scraper today. So let's get on into it and see how this looks. I did not do any testing. We're just jumping right into it. Let's see how, we, how it comes out. Here we go. There we go. I'm liking it so far. Clean off my stamper with my lint roller and my plate with my pure acetone. And I figured all of these were going to stamp like a dream after seeing my friend's test on her channel. We'll leave a link for that down below because I never did do that on mine. But I am liking it so far keep on doing it. We're just going to roll with it. And I do normally work fairly quickly when I'm using regular polishes for stamping. I have tried to make a habit of it just because some of them do dry a little too fast for stamping purposes. So we're going to get that another wipe. strip. Really liking how well these are stamping. And I really do dig it. Now you are waiting for the dig it, aren't you? <laughs> and I'm also being fairly quick today because it is like over 100 degrees here today and the air conditioner is running, running, running and I am not turning it off. And you gotta kind of work fast sometimes when you got air flow moving. Okay, I'm back. My battery cut me off again. It's starting to become an issue. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup here with my tape. Excuse my um, crusty, crunchy cuticles. I will tend to them later. And this um, Sally Hansen Crayola color is coming up beautifully with the tape. And I always like that when that happens. Or when I can get that to happen. Alright, so we've got that cleaned up. Zoom in a little bit, get rid of some lights, and do a little bit of cleanup with some acetone. Just real quick, right around the edges. There we go. Perfect. We have got it cleaned up. We are ready for some top coats. So let's get this nail polish remover out of the way. Today I'm going to be topping everything off with Posh Top Coat. It is my favorite. And I just filled up my bottle so I'm going to have to be very careful with my getting of, because you know normally you get kind of used to the glob you get on the end of it and when you fill your bottle back up again after a little while it's, um, it starts collecting on the neck a little bit more, running down the neck and happy with that. And I really, really like how this one turned out. Summery, but not too crazy. Not neon, really. Just bright. And I like bright. Okay, then my ends. So, here we go. I 
I do love me some hollow in the summer, though. Of course, I'll wear hollow year-round. Sure will. I will. I'll wear in the fall, in the winter, in the spring. Because I'm just crazy like that. So there we go. Gotta break out Woody. Where is he? I knew we were needing his assistance. So alrighty, that is my final manicure. I hope you like this one. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. That is all I have for today. So until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.